Zealot is one of the most iconic and most played maps in Halo Reach. In this video, I'm going to give you all the details when it comes to the callouts, weapon spawns, and jump spots you're going to need to know to do well in this map. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. <laughs> How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you a tutorial video on the map Zealot as voted by you guys on my YouTube channel here. So if you want to help drive the content moving forward with these kind of reviews, make sure to subscribe to keep you guys up to date whenever I have another poll for whenever the next map we're going to be doing for these map reviews. I'm calling this the Cartographer series as we're going to be going in depth on all the important maps you're going to need to understand in Halo Reach. So without further ado, let's get right into the content. Since this is a bit of a lengthy video, I'm sure you probably have your specific things you're looking for. I will have timestamps in the description down below in order. We have hardcore callouts, and then we have spawn points, weapon spawn points, and then jump spots. And then right after that, we also have the social weapon spawns as well on top of that. All linked in the description down below, guys, so if you, want, you can hop around to the different sp spots you want to check out personally. Okay guys, so we jumped over into Forge mode here to kind of give you some explanation of different parts right here. Now this, this is a symmetrical map, so basically I can make the columns on one half of the map and then you just replace it with a different color. So pretty much all the columns are colored than an object. So for example, this is blue flag, as this is where the blue flag area would spawn. Blue closet, blue drop, things like that. So I only need a bubble covering this half of the map. So uh, yeah, I've heard this column referred to as bumper or I've also referred to, for the, referred to as mohawk. Uh, just to make sure you keep an eye out for that. This is a blue jump right here. Down here is blue one, which will then lead you over to blue spiral, this ramp right here, to lead you to blue needles or blue sand pack, whatever you want to call it that. And then which then flows right over to, uh, you hear to refer to as tube or GL for grenade launcher or grenade launcher or, holo or hollows, uh, upper hollows right here. And we kind of go down here to, which is called main ramp. Down here is called hollows, this down area right over here. And then if you go up right here, you heard refer to, refer to as plasma. Um, then this is a one of the bridges. This would be blue bridge over here, would be red bridge, which will then leads you over here to top mid or ring three, which then right below that you would assume ring two. And right down here is ring one. Uh, each one of these lists right here, red left, blue left, as you can probably assume with that one right there. And also on this side, the, if there anyone in this area uses their courtyard. So this would be blue courtyard, that side, red courtyard. Pretty simple to keep up right there. Uh, going up here, once you get past this blue purple line right here, everything past this is the street. So this would be blue street, leading you to the landing, which on this side would be blue landing. Continuing on over here, which then we refer to, I've heard this kind of corner we refer to as Covey, uh, just because obviously it's kind of a covenant shaped object. Uh, so this would be like blue Covey, uh, or you can also probably get away with calling this area uh, either landing or gold. I mean, it's kind of pick or choose your point, whichever one in the minor details in that, which then leads you to gold right here, which is this is gold bridge, which takes you again to top mid. That's where the sniper spawns, by the way. We'll get into the weapon spawns a little bit later. And then you kind of repeat all those callouts to the other side of the map as well. Okay, now let's go over the different spawn points, as you can probably assume to see when it comes to playing this map. Uh, every one of these white markers is obviously a spawn point. The blue ones and the red ones over there, as you can tell, are the initial spawn points as well. So you can assume... When you spawn in, get ready for a gunfight because they're going to be looking right at you there. Uh, so you got different spawn points right here. Heavily weighted spawns up here. A couple spawns over here where the magnum or pistol spawns, what it's called. Uh, some spawns right here. And then we kind of go down to below, down spiral, down to blue one over here. These are heavily weighted spawns right here as well. Uh, so pretty much if you ever get a kill, and you're kind of looking for where the guys are going to be spawning, check down here or check up above are very common areas. There are some spawn points down here as well, but these spawn points are very rare. They're kind of one of those spawn, those uh, secondary spawn points that they would have just in case you couldn't find anywhere else to logically spawn somebody. Uh, but I wouldn't expect to see very many spawns down here. Uh, and then again, like I've said previously, all the... Uh, 
spawns uh, on this map are mirrored as well. We got some landing spawns as well. These are very common on top of that. And those are pretty much all, and you can assume again, all the same kind of spawning on the other side of the map since this is a symmetrical setup right here. All right, so now we've gone over the callouts, we've gone over the spawn points, and let's go over the weapon spawn points and their timers as well. On this map, there are two power weapons. You have the grenade launcher that spawns in upper hollows over here. It spawns every two minutes right there, so you assume at every beginning of the match, and then right after that, 13-10, uh, 11-10, 9-10, as you can see, every two minutes after that. They spawn on the 10s as well. And so keep an eye out for that. So the grenade launcher right here in upper hollows. You have a needle rifle. As you can see, it spawns every 10 seconds. Keep an eye on that one for sure. Uh, down below right here, we got some grenades right down here. Spawn time every 30 seconds. Go back up top here. And we'll have a DMR just around the corner right here. This again, also just like the needle rifle, spawns every 10 seconds as well. We'll go over to the landing. As you saw probably earlier, there is a needle rifle every 10 seconds there as well. And right here, you can see this is where the sniper rifle spawns. Top gold or over here. As you can see, it's on a timer of 118 seconds. But as it drops, it adds an extra 2 seconds, making it uh, 13, 10, 11, 10, 9, 10, like I mentioned earlier. Same timing with the grenade launcher. So whenever this weapon's up, that weapon's up. So that's a very important thing to keep an eye out, keep on in mind when playing this map. We got some plasmas spawning right here on Gold Bridge. Every 30 seconds on those as well. Again, like we mentioned earlier, that call out of plasmas, this little area right here. Obviously, some plasma grenades you can find right there. And also at the bottom of each base right here, we have a DMR, as you can probably assume. Every 10 seconds it spawns up. Okay guys, so now we jumped into a, just a regular old match here, so I want to show you some different jump spots that you can utilize to get yourselves into some very advantageous positions when it comes to playing Halo Reach on MLG settings at least right here. So obviously you get the, the reason why I call this the red jump, it's because obviously you can use it to jump up. Now you can also get up here to red flag, but you can also use this to get to red bridge right here. It's a little trickier, if you kind of get a little practice into it, you can crash, jump your way over to here, no problem. Now there are two different jumps you can utilize using this little edge right here. You can jump by ju using this again to a nice height gunfight height advantage into their health pack, or you can actually jump up onto this ledge right here, as you can see. I'll show you the, the advantageous gunshots. Now, look at this. No one would, no one. I rarely see that actually being utilized so far right now on the Halo Reach competitive. So I uh, definitely want to utilize that. I help you do that first shot in. No one would expect to become soaring in like freaking Superman into that location. And another one, you can crack, you can actually jump right into this location right here and you can hang out right here. Now you can actually go around a little bit right there, but you'll get knocked off. So you can't really utilize it too much, but it's a nice spot to kind of hide out in. It certainly will help give you some good angles when it comes to different gunfights. As you can see up in this position, you got a great line of sight over the gold red landing and then the bases as well just kind of the general area but then the thing is it's just that no one really suspects anyone to be up in this location it's also just not like a good hangout spot it's like a good spot to kind of just be for like a temporary moment just to kind of catch some people off guard but you definitely don't want to use it as like a setup position for sure now since down here in bottom red or red one that this is like very common spawn point and so you want to get the top mid but you don't want to walk all the way around over to there right well actually what you can do is jump onto there jump onto there and then kind of walk around the edge right here and I'll show you right here crouch jump up crouch jump up to this little ledge right here and you can walk right into top mid now another good thing right here say if you're stuck in top mid and you're in a gunfight right here but maybe you're wanting to get onto the outside edge to avoid some grenades or something like that what you can actually do is hug the outside edge of this area right here as you can see there's a little bit of a lip right here you can hang out on so what you can do is say if you're in a gunfight here toss some mates what you can do is kind of feel around the edge right here and you can actually just hide up right here again you can probably tell from when you're able to just do a crouch jump up here but for excellent spot to kind of utilize to kind of make sure you can dodge some grenades it does take some practice and some map knowledge to kind of understand exactly what the tolerance is but you can kind of feel right here when you're backing up you can feel yourself rubbing up against that and you kind of just make sure you keep your cursor body against the uh, edge right there and you can utilize that as a nice little bit of cover as well now there's a cheeky little spot you can use utilize right there as you can actually jump and block your head 
with this little awning right here because you can jump over in this corner right here obviously it's a good spot to kind of hang out this little spot just in general help dodge nades get a little height advantage into a gunfight but if you kind of wedge yourself right in here look at that you can actually jump up as long as you keep hu hugging this edge right here because i'm holding my left stick against the uh, edge right here to keep it stay in this corner you can actually kind of jump up say if you're in the top mid gunfight you can pretty much just keep shooting the guy, block your head, and maybe still get some toe shots or something like that. Um, so definitely a good spot to utilize. Now lots of times we will come across different gunfights where you're fighting over a grenade launcher spawn right here. Or just coming across people who are spawning down at their spiral. You can actually utilize this ledge right here as a different point of height advantage. If you just kind of crouch jump up, and there you are right there. So it's a great angle to catch guys early coming off of their spawn right there. You can actually catch guys also over in uh, their landing as well. This works over on the blue side as well. All these jumps work on the opposite side as well, just to keep you guys in mind. And so you can keep an eye on the landing right there. Keep an eye on spawners. You can kind of just mosey on over. Get a good jump on guys who are possibly coming up uh, main ramp right there as well. So definitely just a great spot to keep an eye on when it comes to just you know, get a nice little height advantage. Jump back down, do your strafes, and uh, slay on, slay on. Now there are various little lips like this you'll find across the map as well. You can actually jump on top of these right here and kind of utilize it as a bit of a height advantage to help get yourself into a little bit higher elevation than you, a player wouldn't expect getting into a gunfight. You can kind of just, just do something like that real quick just to kind of throw them off. Obviously jumping in a gunfight is not highly suggested, but it's something to maybe to help throw them off a little bit to get that extra height advantage. Another spot you can utilize is the drop down area. As you can see, there's a little bit of a ledge right there. So you can actually kind of rope yourself up against the wall right there. And you can actually hide in this corner, pick some guys off right there, get a little gunfight, say they throw a nade at you, just drop down real quick. Maybe go up to red jump or go up spiral, depending on the gunfight and the situation right there. But just another option you guys can keep in mind. Okay, so now I know not everyone here is, who plays Halo is a sweaty, hardcore player. You know, sometimes you just want to know how to play regular old Team Slayer better than everybody else. Well, this is the social side of the map review here. As you can see, compared to what the hardcore settings are, a lot more spawn points. I mean, a lot more spawn points. That's even opened up as well, so you can go up, just up top as well. A lot more spawn points, just like scattered pretty much everywhere. Um, obviously, like these... Uh, Spawn points down here are much lower weighted. Uh, you'll find yourself mainly spawning uh, down there, like in blue, like in the bottom of the base or at the top of the base or by the health pack. Uh, rarely will you see spawns up here uh, or by the mid, but a lot of spawns right here. Those are heavily weighted, uh, but then also the weapon spawns are a little different, but you know, generally uh, nothing too crazy, nothing too game changing. The one thing you do, really do wanna know is the need a rifle here. Spawns has a 60 second spawn time right there as well. And oh, so then you want to keep an eye on that. Needle Rifle and TU Slayer is absolutely deadly. You absolutely need to know that. And there's another uh, Needle Rifle across the map over there on the landing on the other side of the map. And so let's go check out the other power weapon on the map right here is the sword. Now the sword has an interesting spawn time of every two minutes here, but the thing is about the sword is that it actually spawns two minutes after the match starts. So at uh, the B 12 minute mark when the game starts, at the 10 minute mark, that's when the sword spawns up. And if you have sprint and sword on this map, extra, extra lethal guys, you definitely want to keep an eye out for that. And uh, so yeah, at the 13 minute mark, you're gonna wanna make sure to pick this up. Now, the weapon timer starts whenever you pick up the weapon. And so then if you pick it up later, or uh, then that, that's when the time starts up. Uh, so, but generally you wanna keep an eye around like the, uh, at the 10 minute mark, eight minute mark, six minute, etc. cetera. Uh, obviously that time is gonna change throughout the match when the later you pick it up. Uh, so maybe check it like, you know, instead of at the 10 minute mark, check at like 9.45 and then check at like 6.45 and things like that. So just definitely one thing to keep in mind when it comes to this weapon timer spawn. Yeah, if you go up top here, you can find yourself a concussion rifle on a three minute timer of whenever you pick it up as well. This doesn't really get utilized too often because not very many people go up top just because of the uh, the kill time that you have up here. So you only have a minimal amount of time you can spend up here before you can grab a concussion rifle. But again, super useful. 
So that is everything you need to know when it comes to playing Zealot in Halo Reach. If you guys have any critiques or anything you want me to suggest in the next video, guys, please make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll make sure to catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out.